It was a royal commission that from the very beginning had vocal opponents. But no one expected the very men who set the terms of reference to be one of them. In his first hour in the witness box earlier this year, former Chief Minister Adam Giles answered I don't know and I don't recall more than 60 times. His answers and manner appalled the heads of the inquiry. I don't doubt that he was the most uncooperative witness we had, former Commissioner Mick Gooder said. Former Commissioner Margaret White told the ABC that the council assisting only has powers to compel witnesses to give evidence up to a point. They can tell you they don't recall, you can suggest, as council assisting did, that that was scarcely believable, but ultimately they will either answer or they will not. But he, Adam Giles, really was the only example of lack of cooperation with the terms of reference which was somewhat astonishing considering he was the person who set the terms of reference. On the morning after the ABC's Four Corners program broadcast its report into the treatment of Dondale detainees, Mr Giles fronted Darwin Media and appeared to dab tears away from his eyes. Earlier that morning, he had spoken on the phone with Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull and together they agreed a royal commission was necessary. One year later in the witness box, his position appeared to have changed dramatically. Looking forward, Ms. White questioned whether there was a political will to learn the lessons from failings in the youth detention and child protection systems. The evidence from around the world was overwhelming about this system not working, it was as if it was a very recent phenomenon. It was quite well established, and I find it terribly depressing that those who get elected to high office seem disinterested in evidence-based solutions. That's what I am left with. While no criminal charges were recommended in the report, the Royal Commission's findings did state the Commission referred a number of matters to the Northern Territory Police. Those referrals were said to include potential criminal conduct by youth justice officers. But the ABC can reveal the Royal Commission did privately recommend prosecutions be made. We did recommend that certain matters be investigated by police, Ms. White said. Needless to say, they are not articulated in the report, because you don't want to compromise any police investigations, so well say that up front, we did make a number of recommendations for prosecutions. The $54 million dollar Royal Commission found that the current conditions inside the NTS youth detention centers are wholly inappropriate, oppressive, and detrimental to the prospect of rehabilitation of youth. Mick Gooder said he and co-commissioner Margaret White put human rights at the center of their recommendations. I think Margaret and I worked at producing a report that was a little bit different, one that thought about implementation right from the start, and therefore we had a lot of engagement with the territory government on the way through. Ms. White said they saw the recommendations unfolding over a 10-year time frame.